Welcome to Liquid Lunch. It's me, Hugh, today. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. I'm just testing our switching system, and it seems to be working. And I've got uh, my uh, co-host, Jen Frankel, joining us here, author of Undead Redhead. Hello, everyone. And uh, we are very fortunate to have Aslan Bakilian joining us here. Aslan. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> here, look at this camera if you want to say hi to them. Aslan, this oh, one here. Hi, everyone. <laughs> it's me, Aslan. <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet everyone. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so we're going to talk about something that you're doing called the Bazaar Gala. Bazaar Gala. Right? And uh, we've been chatting before we came on the air today, find yeah. out a little bit about you. Originally from Iran, yes, I'm been in Canada right. for 20 years. Love yeah. Canada, right? I love Canada, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love so, Canada. So what is this, uh, so tell us, and you were just saying before we came on how Canada is great for encouraging entrepreneurship and that yeah. sort of thing. And so is this Bazaar Gala, is it an entrepreneurial project? This Bazaar Gala is an entrepreneur, entrepreneurial uh, project. I launched this uh, three months ago. Yeah. And what, what basically it is, it's a concept of bazaar, but in a 21st century uh, style. Basically, I, 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 uh, I, what I did, I got the concept of bazaar in Iran and in Turkey or, or, or kind of a Middle Eastern countries. Mm -hmm. And then I, enter and, and I put it online. Mm -hmm. So every business has its, has its own lane. Mm -hmm. Let's say in jewelry, they have their own lane. The optical, they have their own lane. Shoes, they have their own lane. Uh, sports, they have their own lane, and, and etc. What re what really uh, made me to be interested in this was that in this in this uh, in, uh, in in the concept of bazaar, there are let's say thousands of uh, s small businesses, and they all make money, mm -hmm. right? So that's why I was always interested to have something like this uh, in in a. Bec obviously, I cannot have this. In, uh, I couldn't have the concept of bazaar in Canada. But what I did, I have, I, I converted this in online. So it's uh, so every uh, every business have their own virtual store, mm -hmm. uh, with their name or on it or whatever they have given us. Mm -hmm. I I I already have three or four businesses who, who who were interested and gave me their information. So I put them online for them. Mm -hmm. Do we have the website? Uh, can we show the this? Uh, it's the really cool, yeah. Website, because just to get a now that we've heard about it, we want to actually see it. And, if you uh, if you see it, it's it's very interesting. Okay, yeah. one of the things I'm, I I was just earlier this week I uh, went to the Pacific Mall. Pacific Have you ever Mall. been there? Yeah, yes, Pacific Mall for the first time. Yeah, uh, and, and it's kind of like a bazaar. It's like a bazaar, yes. Right? Yes. Uh, and it was uh, I was just thinking, you know the lowering the cost of retail, of doing business, and still having people being able to go in and uh, see stuff and touch stuff. So, yeah. um, now are you a web designer? Is, no. is that how you did this? or uh, No, I, I, I gave the, I, I hired someone to, to do the coding for me mm -hmm. and do the web design for me. For myself, my background is politics. I studied politics. <laughs> then I went to law school. And then uh, I didn't like, I studied for three years, I didn't like it. Yeah. And then I, I went to, the, I did uh, po uh, economics. And then uh, after I did my economics, I did, uh, I was in Houston for six months. And after six months, I got a, um, how do you say it? I was, I got a um, nervous, I got a nervous breakdown. Which oh, I, had yeah. To, yeah, I, I got a nervous breakdown, which I had to stop studying. I've heard Texas will do that to you. Yeah, yeah. Is it, was it Texas? I think it was Texas. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think they have a different <laughs> culture. Because yeah. everybody culture drives <laughs> around with a gun in their back seat. <laughs> yeah. <or on>. Their <laughs> culture <laughs> is way, way different than uh, Toronto. Than here? Antonio's. Really? I got a culture shock, actually. I'm not I, surprised at all. What happened? Well, people are people are very very different than in than are in Toronto. I cannot I cannot describe it, yeah. but you have to go there to to get a sense of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you just uh, were were not uh, okay. So you no. came back to a better place. I where came you could back actually to actually get something started. Yeah, I get back. I get. I got back to a better place. I. I the, the the idea originally I started thinking about it uh, three years ago. But uh, but I com I com I I talked to many people in order to in order to join me. None of them were interested. Mm -hmm. So what happened was that I actually got my dad to be to be to be the co-owner. So I am um, we, we are we are both we are both uh, founders of this company. But I'm the one who I'm the face of the company right. okay. who does everything. I've got to say I love this concept. Um, 
you can't really do like we've got farmers markets yeah. and we've got um, there's like other you know trade shows and trade things shows. like that but there's a reason that those things are so are so uh, exciting so, and so popular yeah. because it really does put everything in one place exactly. um, and I'm thinking about like when I'm looking for something like I'm looking for jewelry I'm looking for shoes or something um, the first thing I'm gonna do is go to Google cool. and then I'm gonna go through a whole bunch of different websites exactly what you what you've done is you've created a way to put all of that into one place, into one and, place. and also it's visual yes. and that seems to be what's I mean that's I, I hope we can get the website up because like the whole the whole uh, um, the whole way you've got it set up, you're actually walking through the bazaar, yes. and you and you look at the thing. stores on both sides. It's really, <laughs> it's really, it's the 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 fun factor is great on it too. Fun factor. Yes. That's yeah. I'm just I'm that's that's a catchphrase that they use in economics. I'm absolutely certain mm -hmm. they I'm, do. I know, I have no idea. Because <laughs> they should. I thought you were going to say fun factory. <laughs> the fu the the fun factory. The fun factory. The bizarre gala. It's not the fun factory. It just seems like a fun factory. No, and I like that. Um, I, I like uh, he's got it set up so that there, so that each of the different lanes has its own feel, as well. So that when you're well, going I want to see this lane. thing. There it is. There we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Bizarre gala. Click Close on the lanes so to start your search. So those are the lanes. So each one of them is a different product category. Yes. All right. Oh. So if you go and check, just, just check. click on it. Stereos, man. So yeah, here, yeah, so here you go. Whoa! So let's walk through it. Is it like a almost like a video game? Yes, yeah, you, know so you I mean? actually you actually cursor through the, uh, you actually click through the through the, the actual. Let's say lanes. you go, click OK, go to general. General. Go to okay. movies. Movies. And you see there, there is one business that. Uh, uh, so uh, take a step forward. Take a step forward. Come back. <laughs> wow, it's like a video game. So can you see the store that you can uh, turn and turn and look at the store on? Yeah. Urban film gorillas. Yeah. yeah. So you can see it's uh, you actually got nice. your own storefront there. And then okay. would uh, would there be a link there to the actual website of the? Well. Or how does it work? Well, uh, these people, they didn't give us the website. They gave us only their, their, their email and the name of their uh, f uh, company mm -hmm. and their, uh, some history, some background about what they do. And then uh, we just uh, put it on them online for them. That's great. Yeah. Okay, now how much does it cost for a business to get into the uh, Bazaar Gala? Well, right now we are at the preliminary level, preliminary level so we do them for free for them. Yeah. Right. If they want to advertise on our website, we, ha we, we that's something we have we have to discuss about it. Yeah. But f uh, just put their name on the on on uh, on the on our website. It's kind of it's for right for now. It's free. Yeah. Okay. okay. This is a big yeah. opportunity for people then. Yeah. Right? And, and do you think it is it like a virtual reality uh, or a um, uh, is it like a video game? Well. Of? Maybe eventually we, we will do it. We will do a virtual reality. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we might do it. But right now at this level, it's very, uh, it's very basic. Yeah. Okay. Now, so and then, how do you track traffic to the website? Because you well, the more traffic you get, the more value add for your. Well, what what, what we do is that we are we did we had a web design for uh, domain.com. Mm -hmm. And in domain.com, when we go to when, when we go to when we go, we can track how many people actually visit our we visited our website. Right. But at but at this stage, we cannot say how many people visited our lanes or particular lanes. Mm -hmm. We can only say how many people visited our, our website in general. Mm -hmm. right. But that's something we want to do in the future to know how many people visited our, uh, our each particular lane and how many people, let's say, visited this store, that store, in order to get the sense of uh, how, how we should do the charge, how we should charge people. Mm -hmm. Or if someone advertised in, let's say, in shoe lane, how, 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 should, we, uh, how should we charge charge them? Yeah. On what base? Based, yeah. yeah. Right now it's very, very, uh, it's, uh, it's very, the, it's, it's just the beginning, but as we develop, it, we, will, we will figure it out. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, now, so how did you, uh, what was your initial approach, or first of all, when did it launch? What, what was the launch date of it? Well, we, we, we don't have an exact uh, launch date for this. I, I started, we started the idea two years ago, but 
in order to in order to get it uh, in order to get people uh, to introduce it to people, it is st we started it three four months ago. Mm -hmm. We, that was when we actually got, uh, we went to our customers saying, yeah, we have this website. If you want to advertise with us, we ac we d distributed flyers telling people yeah, this, that's uh, to all businesses, telling them we have this website. If you want to advertise with us, there was no response. But hopefully this, this, uh, this concept has to be basically constructed in a society. People have to l know what it is in order to advertise with them. Mm -hmm. If this is very new in Canada, mm -hmm. or let's say I would say in a Western, uh, Western part of the world, it, this is very new. If people know what it, what it is, they will eventually come and advertise with us. But since they don't know what it is, they, 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 they are not advertising with us anymore at, at this moment. Everyone that we are, how, who advertised with us, uh, we did it through our friends or through our own communities, and eventually we will spread that out to, to other people, uh, to other businesses as well. I, I can really see this growing with people, uh, with people using it too. Yes. So it's your, um, and I know this is a, must be a, a tough stage for you because you're at the point where, where you can have people coming and you want to have more there. Exactly. But it's kind of one of those things yeah. where you need more people there to bring more people in, yeah. to have more people there. It's a chicken and egg thing. It's always yeah. a chicken and egg yeah, thing, isn't it? Not always. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it's just an omelet. Like, sometimes an omelet is just an omelet. There we go. Sometimes an omelet is just an omelet. There in which go. case, you need to break a few eggs. Yeah. The chicken omelet is, okay. <laughs> Let's just forget about the chicken, forget about the eggs. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, no, it's interesting, though, that, that, that I think you're right, though. There's something, in, there's something in the way that North Americans have done business since the beginning of North America where, where we consider competition to be something bad. We yeah. consider that if two coffee shops are on the same block, that's a problem. Yeah. And, and I think that uh, Starbucks, for one, has really built their business on that. They've, they've built their entire corporate strategy around putting other people out of business. Yeah. And I know that one of the things that they do is they'll put like two Starbucks on the same couple, of, the same corner, yeah. and drive the third local coffee shop out of business, and then close down one of the Starbucks, and then everybody has to keep going to the Starbucks. Well, what happened was what happened was with the Starbucks, as I remember, they did, in Canada they didn't pay for any any money for their marketing. Wherever whatever second second cup was, they just opened the store across the street. The second cup closed. They <laughs> thrive with right. Right. That's right. right. The, the second club, the, I think they closed down, didn't um, they? I second can't remember. The second club is still around. They're and still around, I but, think they're still but not many of them. No, and I think they're still one of the only ones that's still owned by... Is, is Second Cup still owned by... Ca I can't remember. It's Second Cup or Timothy's. One of them is actually still Canadian. Owned, I think Second Cup. Is second Cup is Canadian. Timothy's in American. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that's and that's amazing, like the fact that they've managed to hold on. Yeah. But you're right, like the... The people love to be able to comparative price shop, yeah. and one of the corporate strategies in, can, in Canada and the States is to make sure you don't have that option. They try to keep you centralized mm -hmm. so that you don't have a chance to comparative shop, yeah. which is, I guess, the, which is definitely the, the concept behind putting a, putting a grocery store into Shoppers Drug Mart, yeah. putting a pharmacy mm -hmm. into, mm -hmm. in, into, uh, into Loblaws. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're trying to keep you there. Um, and this is going exactly the opposite way. This is basically saying everybody can thrive if they if they do their own little bit of the business. And if you put everything in one lane like you're doing, yeah. people can actually compare the prices. They can compare the exactly. products. Probably actually makes people work a little harder to get good products on, at good prices as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, what we do like is it. what we do is that we 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 our our core. Uh, strategy is to just introduce businesses. We don't really tell them, yeah, this store is more expensive or this, uh, this yeah. store is cheaper. We just tell them, these are all the businesses in, in this lane. You go do the window shopping, whatever you want, uh, whatever you want to do, and you go to their website and, and compare the prices for yourself. We might eventually do that, but but right now we are not, we don't, uh, we don't do the uh, price. Uh, I think that's how you should sell it. You should sell it as a window shopping app. Yeah. Because everybody likes to window e shop. E everyone likes to window shop, yeah. Now, but I, you know virtual reality is, is the big next thing, yeah. right? So people are going to be walking around with those sets. Yeah. You know, which is going to be cool. And then, so I, I think if 
with your concept and with that, then people can walk through the Bizarre Gala and yeah. have a total immersive experience. Yeah. And walk straight into somebody else's website from one place, which makes it so much easier than Google. Um, could you guys bring the, web, the website back yeah. up again? Yeah, let's have look that at there? it again. Um, there's something else cool that I really like about it. Um, the, the, okay, these vertical banners on both sides yeah. are places where people can buy ads, you said, yes, right? Yes, exactly, yeah. Oh. So, and, and that's great, too, because if, if uh, with Google integration, with uh, the way that the Google ad servers work, you might get to a point where you can actually have those ads pop up based on people's browsing experience. That's, th eventually I will do that. Eventually I will, uh, my... Eventually, oh, yeah. my goal is that basically you create an artificial intelligence in, uh, for people to know if they go, let's say, to Julie Lane or if they go to Shoe Lane, eventually when they go to, uh, when they open up their browser, someone pop up and say, yeah, there is a special offer here, there is a, sh a special offer right there. R what it's r right, what you do right now. Let's say if you go check out a website, after a while you see the, those websites are sending you an advertisement telling you, yeah, this is, uh, there's, an, there's a special offer, there is this, there is that, so you can actually, you, you can go and buy their product. That would be cool. And yeah. then it would be even cooler if you could get like a Bizarre Gala email that would say, here are three different deals from three different shoe companies yeah. that all kind of fit what That's you've been looking wonderful. for. And then you can go and comparative shop. You get like a little, a little notice in your inbox that, exactly, you, that yeah. there's something to compare. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, Asad, can we walk around? I know we sort of yeah. tried to move around, but I want to walk around the bazaar and see what's there. Is okay. it possible yeah. to do that? Well, right now, right now it's not possible, but we will make it possible oh. later on. Okay. Well, you can, so you can we walk go. down right now each it's of just the eyes. Arrow. Look on those arrows. That's cool. Yeah, it's eventually like we want to we want to uh, we want to convert that er uh, those arrows to a person. Yeah. We put one person who actually uh, who does walking, who goes left, right, or this uh, stuff. Nice. Yeah. Can you check out the? You got to put the different lanes up though to see how how different each of them are. Yeah, I want to see the different ones. Yeah, they've all got Go their own backgrounds. Go to lanes. Go to lanes. Click on a different lane. Don't think too long about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I love this. Each of the each of the lanes has its own flavor. So the, and those um, and those banners will be could be advertisements too. Then that's yeah. yeah, that's great. I think it's better than Yorkdale. I think it's a lot better than Yorkdale. Yeah. And, yeah. and yeah. the nice thing is too that any time you get lost, you just have to go up back up to the top and, and click I'm lanes, and, and yeah. <laughs> you're, you're back to where yeah. things started. N you, that's not like that at Yorkdale. It's not like no. that at Yorkdale. No. It's not no. like that at most malls. No. <laughs> Yeah. Have you ever, uh, uh, do you know about Second Life? Have you ever heard of Second Life? I heard of it, yes. <laughs> yeah, because that's I pretty, uh, I think, uh, there you go. Could, it you could kind offer of reminds this me is, a uh, bit of Second Life in a, in a way because it's like a virtual uh, environment. Well, that could be fun. You could offer it as like an add-on package to Second Life where you could actually go and do mm. real shopping with your fake character. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, got all sorts of ideas no, for you. No, 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 so okay, so now the way we found out about you was uh, we, we must have got one of your we got flyers, one of your flyers, right? Yeah, we got and, one of my flyers. And we yeah. responded, and yeah, you um, respond. I'm happy that you guys responded. Yeah, it means yeah. it's good to get feedback exactly. when you're putting out mar marketing yeah. materials about it. But uh, well, uh, actually, that's uh, that's actually how I how I got back in touch with Hugh. I used to do a, a radio show here years and years ago mm. and then I put out a, a newsletter when I started doing some other stuff and Hugh was the one who responded to my newsletter. I was the only one? You were pretty much, well there were a couple of, a couple of people who were like, uh, oh Jen, I th you are dead after, no it's like, <laughs> not, not quite. Yeah. See, that yeah. could have been a Mandela yeah. effect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but you, were, uh, you, were the, you were the most important person who responded to me, let's put oh, it that thank way. You. Thank you. Um, so Aslan now so you've tried a couple of different marketing approaches, or yeah. at least one, the one with the flyers and stuff like that. And uh, I, I'm suspecting that, the, you know, it's very difficult to generate business these days, right? Yes, as very you, difficult. As you know. Very difficult. Um, what are some of the strategies you're thinking about to, to get more uh, potential clients, even though it is free at the moment? But <coughs> how are you going to really go out there and get the, the I clients? I would say right now, Right now, the most uh, I think two uh, two strategies that I'm using is one in the, that channel. Uh, then the we like being used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I use the, that channel and then through that channel I can use the Facebook, YouTube and others and, yeah. and the other one is word of mouth. Okay. Yeah. It'd be interesting. Um, because it's a concept that's sort of more, it's more a Middle Eastern thing. Have yeah. you tried, uh, have you been uh, more into the Middle Eastern communities in Toronto or? No, I tried everything. Just trying everything. I'm, I'm trying everything. I'm wondering if, it, if it, people would be more open to and would understand it quicker in, in well, certain I, businesses. Well, I, I think the concept of Bazaar is not that complicated that people don't it understand. It really shouldn't be. It, 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 it shouldn't be. It's very, it's very easy. I think it's uh, it's natural that it it's coming into the West now. I mean, Marshall McLuhan would have even said that it was uh, <laughs> because as our brains it's change, fine, because of our sense ratios, because of the media, then the West, which was usually left more left brain, mm -hmm. logical, sequential, alphabetical, yeah. is now and the East and the West, like James Joyce said. I see. Finnegan's uh, getting uh, wakeful. <laughs> I think I see you where you're going with this, but but yeah, no, it's a more, it's definitely more intuitive. And anything online, you, we've got the opportunity to be more intuitive, to be more organic yeah, with the way yeah. that you approach something. And see, that's Marsha definitely. Marsha McLuhan. Sorry, I don't want to interrupt. No, Mar uh, Marsha McLuhan. Always interrupt me with Marsha McLuhan. In the in the '60s, he <laughs> said that it, that in in the West, people would be buying stuff out of bins because of the the sense ratio changing. Nobody believed them in the '60s, and then then the no then no frills came along. Right. And now Aslan is bringing that, to, but also even big stores like uh, Sears and uh, Eaton's isn't around anymore. But Sears, they're bringing in like they're almost turning them into bar bazaars them, themselves. Yeah, they're, right? they're building, Yeah. And then the Pacific Mall, and I think it's a whole yeah. new concept, a hypermarché concept. That's what you were talking about. Right. Well, see. Yeah. Sears right now they close they closed on all their physical stores yeah. and they're going all online. Right. That that's what they are doing. They, but they are their core business is sell. My core business is not is not a sell. My core business is window shopping, going and have fun uh, on my on my website and maybe eventually sell, but not at this but not at this moment. Right. Yeah. Because I. I actually have this uh, have this idea patented pending, right? So when I patented this uh, this idea, I, I actually I, I said maybe later on in a, in a later on I will have it on, I will have se uh, sale as well, but not uh, but not at this stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the nice thing about it too is that um, is that I mean there's. <laughs> It's really frustrating being online now because everybody is trying to sell you something. Yeah. Ads are popping up everywhere. You go looking for information, and you're basically been you're basically faced with a lot of people trying to sell you something. Yeah. You're creating a space where people, where you actually are intending to go and see advertising. Yeah, so, uh, you're yeah. basically creating creating the ad section of a of a of a like a high end magazine yes. that is ninety nine percent ads and really only exists for the ads. Uh, but you're actually doing it with people's permission. So they go in looking for the ads. Yeah. And I, I think that's a much nice I would I would definitely like prefer to approach shopping that way as opposed to always okay. being just flooded with lots of things that I don't want, don't oh, need. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so as a, so, what are you looking for right now? I guess one of them is the businesses, or they could be organizations, any kind of uh, any kind of uh, thing. any kind of any, thing, any, right? Any to, kind of to come in and be part of the of the of the bazaar. Right now, um, right now, my intention is to have small and medium businesses advertise on my website and get the and and if there is there is a big organization. I get them to add uh, to have the to have the uh, their advertise on the banners or on those vertical things. Right. Yeah. Now, um, is there a particular way that you're going to decide to arrange things? Like how do how do people get a spot closer to the entrance of the mall? Um, I have to think about it. <laughs> yeah, think, uh, <laughs> no, you that know what they be. do. I gotta say, on Second Life, you can teleport yeah. around. Right? Yeah. Ah. So you don't have to necessarily start at ah. the entrance and work your way through. You can teleport wherever so you want. You could start at the G's or something if they were alphabetical. If you wanted to start at the G's. Or you might be able to eventually set it up to sort in any way that the people want. So you could mm -hmm. actually have the stores sorted from the high, high end to the, to the least expensive mm -hmm. or sorted them from. That would be great, eh? Yeah. I'm just thinking out loud here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. 
I, wa I want to actually go and walk around in those lanes, though. That looks really lovely. Yeah, oh, yeah I want to do that. But I, I would hope that they would actually offer you a cup of green tea at some uh, green apple tea <laughs> <laughs> at some point. Yeah. And okay, obviously, uh, you also want people to come and start exploring the mm -hmm. bazaar, right? Yeah. And uh, so, I, where do they go? They just what's the website again, Aslan? www.bazargala.com. Okay. And anything else you want to let us know about today? No, that was all about it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it was a very uh, lovely conversation. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Well, it was good to get to know about the business and uh, and find out how it works and, and what you're looking for. And, yeah. and for everybody watching, uh, they can get in touch with you at the website, bizarregallet.com. Yes, exactly. And yeah. take advantage okay. of it now while Definitely. it's free, while you can get in yeah. there right on the ground floor. Yeah. Right on the ground floor of the bazaar, I guess. Yeah. Because Google's yeah. not working anymore. A friend of mine, she, her Google is broken. <laughs> Mine is still okay, but hers is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> thanks, Aslan. No problem. And uh, no, it's okay. okay. We're just going to wrap the show up. I just want to say thanks, everybody, for tuning in, right? Thank you. Maybe we'll come back and talk about something else. Why not? Why not? Yeah, why not? Okay, yeah. all right. We're going to take a break here on Liquid Lunch. We'll be right back. Thatchannel.com.